Well, the Atomic Energy Commission, unfortunately, did not uh, share their zeal to continue with the technology. Put your hand on your desk, take everything that has to do with molten salt, sweep it off, and you're finished. Stop that reactor experiment. Fire everybody. I didn't see it coming. The project was terminated, but I still think that people will come back to this reactor. I hope that after I'm gone, people will say, hey, these guys had a pretty good idea. Let's go back to it. We share the dream that was put forward by Dr. Alvin Weinberg long ago of a world set free by essentially unlimited energy source. To me, it is a miracle. It's a miracle that there's a material on Earth that has such remarkable energy density that even worthless dirt is transformed into an energy resource greater than the richest crude oil or anthracite coal or any other resource you can imagine. To me, that is, that is truly a miracle. When I pitched this story to Wired Magazine, there's six editors around a table, and they're pretty well-informed science and technology journalists, and not a single one of them had heard of thorium. Richard Weinberg, he said, most of my father's papers are at the Oak Ridge Children's Museum. Literally, there was a big walk-in closet. I'm realizing as I go through these Oak Ridge documents how limited their distribution was. On the very last page of everyone, there's a distribution. There's about 40 people. And you're like, so best case scenario, 40 people read what I'm holding in my hand 50 years ago. Around 2004, Kirk Sorensen came to visit us at Berkeley because we'd been working on molten salt reactor technology and doing some of the early studies. He had a stack of CD-ROMs, and that was a treasure trove. We have been able to access and also to disperse an amazing amount of information. Kirk gave me some CDs, and then he put them on the internet. That was a game changer. That was an inflection point. Unless you were physically with me, and I could bring down a copy of fluid fuel reactors showing the molten salt reactor in it, and the aircraft reactor experiment. Matter of fact, it has a picture, and in the background is a stepladder. It shows you the scale. It was half the size of your refrigerator, and it put out 2 million watts of heat. In and it operated in 1954. I wasn't even on the planet then.